Hi, welcome back to my channel, and this is a sound off on Married to Medicine. Now, this is really a sound off because I'm not reviewing the entire episode. I just had a couple of things I had to get off my chest, so let's get into it. Now, I told y'all last episode that I'm really just here for the mess, okay? I'm not team quad or team Dr. G or team Sweet T or team nobody, okay? If I'm team anybody, it's team Toya, get your lick back, okay? That's the only team I'm really on, and I love Dr. Simone, but, um... Everybody else is just, I'm just neutral. I'm just here for the vibes and the mess and the drama of it all. Like, that's it. But this episode kind of upset my spirit. Make out vexed lily bits. I didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't like what I saw. I didn't. Now, of course, I saw the previews and I went into the episode thinking, that, okay, Miss Sweet Tea Girl, you brought your ass to this show. First of all, this is reality TV. Can't be on reality TV and have a soft heart, okay? You gotta, you gotta be a little strong. You gotta have thick skin. You can't come over here being a little wilted flower, okay? I know you're a little naive. You're a little, you know, you're not seasoned. You don't, you don't really know what you're doing just yet. But you brought your ass on this show. You clearly you here for some mess because this is Quad was on the show with your man. You know that's where that's that's why you on the show now because a Quad and your man. So, for you to come on the show and think that they're not going to mention Quad's name, girl, be fucking for real, okay? Be for real. Quad's name is going to be, girl, that's the whole appeal for you to even be on the show is because they want this dynamic, you versus Quad, old versus new, what's really, you know, they, hello, if you thought anything else, girl, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. To be honest, I still feel that way. I still feel like, girl, you need to toughen up, okay? You need to be for real. You came on this show, and they brought you on the show to be messy. Um, You don't have to follow suit and do anything devilish, because I wouldn't appreciate that. I would not like to see her taunting quad or starting. I, I didn't want to see none of that, okay? That's not what I came here for. But I definitely came for the mess. But after watching last night's episode, I really didn't like, I ain't like it. I don't, it's starting to seem as if Heavenly and production brought this woman on the show to bully her. And see, I'm not going to never be okay with nothing like that. For these women to be almost her mother's age, probably. These women are pushing 50. Dr. Jackie, well, she's 60, right? Dr. Jackie's 60. The rest of these women are pushing 50. Sweet T, I think it's what, 30, 31? For y'all to be sitting up there taking jabs and shots at her, that wasn't right. For that girl to be in the bathroom crying, that wasn't okay. It's looking like y'all went and found this girl to bring her on this show purposely to be mean girls at y'all ripe ages. And I'm not here for that. Dr. Jackie told me, oh, yeah, I've been to her house before with the previous wife. Wasn't this room purple? Now, if that girl would have said, oh, yeah, girl, where is Curtis? You know, you need to keep Curtis nearby because he likes to cheat and go on vacation with other girls. Dr. Jackie would fall to her knees and cry. I don't like when people do stuff to you that you can't do back to them. I don't like that. I really, really don't. I don't like when everybody's teaming up against one person. I don't think it's okay. I get that, yeah, it was very messy for her to ever come on this show. But from what we are seeing, Heavenly, you encouraged this young lady to come on the show. I'm saying young lady like she's not my age group. <laughs> but, like, you encouraged this young woman, this younger woman to you. You encouraged her to come on this show so that she could be attacked. She did not break up Dr. G and Quad's marriage. She was not the reason why their marriage did not last. For y'all grown hyenas to be picking on this woman is not okay. Heavenly, you didn't have your shit together the first season you was on the show. You looked crazy. You looked like a country bumpkin your damn self your first couple of seasons. You still be having moments. I, I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And then we see that Quad is going to show up to her bachelorette party. They did a live talking about the, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is not, this is not okay. Y'all might want to be careful. Y'all might want to be careful because this girl, she's not that polished. 
Before you know it, she had one of her crazy cousins come fight y'all at that reunion. Y'all better leave this girl alone. I think y'all doing a little too much. She ain't Hollywood just yet. She got some cousins that know somebody that know somebody that know somebody. Before y'all know it, y'all walking out of y'all practice and y'all get jumped in the parking lot. Y'all need to leave that girl alone. I don't like what y'all are doing. I like shade. I like a little bit of cattiness. I like, you know, some banter back and forth. But this girl, she ain't even built for that. Now, she gonna have to get over the fact that, yeah, Quad is gonna be around. You came to Quad's territory. Quad gonna be around. Now, her crying about that, Miss Sweet Tea, I can't do nothing for you. You signed up for the mess, bitch. You are in the ocean, bitch. You better swim. But these grown batches at their ripe ages sitting up there picking on this girl that, they, that, that they're able to give birth to, it's not, it's not doing well with my spirit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like how they was picking her apart, girl. You ain't got no booty. Phaedra, shut up. It's not her fault that she don't have no booty. She's not willing to risk her life to, to go purchase a booty. I don't like when a woman, and this was one of the reasons I had to stop watching Basketball Wives. I know a lot of us did not, a lot of people did not care for OG's aesthetic. But um, one thing I'm going to respect about OG and women like OG and myself is that we're comfortable in our own skin. If I can go outside with my natural body, nobody should be able to tell me nothing. Because if you say something to me, I'll cuss your mother. You catch me on the right day, I'm going to say some stuff to you that's going to make you want to put hands and feet on me. If that woman is comfortable enough to get on television with her natural body and embrace her natural body and love her natural body, none of y'all have the right to pull her apart, pick her apart, and criticize her. Oh, she ain't got a booty, her butt flat. Okay, and... Everybody's not willing to go risk their life to look like whoever. Little booties matter too. Flat booties matter. Natural booties matter. But my thing is like, y'all leave that lady alone. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like how they was treating that girl on the, yesterday's episode. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. Now she would have. <laughs> she could have DDT you, Phaedra, and brought up. What you did to Candy. You would have been sitting there stunned. Leave that girl alone, y'all. Leave that girl alone. She would have asked you, Toya, about your finances. You would have been sitting there stuck. You wouldn't want to fight. And honestly, I don't think Toya is trying to be mean to the girl. The shadiness is what they do on these shows. But this girl wasn't prepared for it. And she should have been prepared for it. She should have been prepared for it. Because we know you watch the show. But it's like, I get it. Sometimes things can be too much. I think I was triggered. I think I was triggered. This reminded me of when I had my first job. And I worked at a makeup counter. Well, I worked in a department store, of course, in makeup, of course. And I was fresh. I was new. I ain't know nothing. Started off working in fragrance. Then I moved to a specific beauty counter. And we were, like, pretty much auditioning for the role it went to one other girl, not to me. So I became contingent. So I was floating around to different counters. And one day I was scheduled to work in Lancome. And Lancome was in gift. And if you don't know what in gift means, basically, um, I think at least two or three times out the year, they have this gift with purchase where basically you just buy something for like $60 and you get over $100 worth of free items. And people, man, when... The makeup counters, when they were in give, chaos, a mess. They needed all hands on deck. They needed extra hands. They needed feet on deck, too. Okay? It was mayhem. So, I was scheduled to work at Lancome when they were in gift. And I was still very, 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 very new. Long story short, them bitches was... I used to see them all the time, and they would be like, Hi, oh, you look so pretty. Oh, hi, how you doing? And I'm young at the time. And so, I thought they were nice. They was smiling and saying hi, and... I, you know, the energy they gave me, I gave it right back to them. They were nice to me. I was nice to them until I had to work with them at their counter and they saw me getting commission on selling their stuff. Oh, they didn't like it. I didn't schedule myself there. I was scheduled there by our manager and them heifers treated me nasty. 
they were so mean. They were pushing me out the way. They was just doing all types of stuff. They were snatching sales from me. And this one counter manager across the way, it was a Puerto Rican lady. Shout out to her. I love her. I hope she's doing well because she was, she was a very nice lady. And she just pulled me to the side and she was like, girl, girl, if you don't toughen up, they will eat you alive. And I still, I didn't really, I was like, what is she talking about? Like, I just came here to sell. Like, I wasn't even, I wasn't, I was dumbfounded. And I, if you know me, if you know me, I was never that girl to play with. But I came to work with good energy. And I thought I was going to receive good energy. And these bitches had me fucked up little did they know. So I didn't really get what, what Miss Angie was trying to say to me. The next day, the same thing happened. And this day was like a long shift. Like that first shift was like four hours. The next day, I was working a one to ten. And them heifers started that bullshit again. And I remember I was trying to go to the bathroom and cry. And one of my coworkers saw me crying. And then I get to the bathroom and I'm just embarrassed. Like, oh my God, these bitches made me cry. I went to the bathroom to feel sorry for myself. Baby, when I got out of that bathroom, I left that bathroom. I decided I was going to give these bitches hell. And that's exactly what I did. They was shoving me and I was shoving their old asses right back. I was like, boop. You push me, I push them hoes back. They were stepping on my foot, I stepped on their foot right the fuck back. Like, bitch, don't fucking play with me. I don't care that you my grandma's age. If you shove me, I'ma shove you right the fuck back. And I'm going to steal all your cells. Yes, you wanna, you gonna steal my cell? I'm gonna steal your next one. I gave them bitches hell. They ain't never gonna forgive me. <laughs> never gonna forgive me. I gave them heifers hell. Sweet tea, I need you to give these bitches hell. Make them regret bringing your ass on the show. Since they want to play in your face, you need to give them the energy that they're giving you. Don't go out like no damn sucker. Y'all gonna make me like the girl. And honestly, I didn't come here to like the girl. I just wanted to watch the show. But I don't like bullies. I don't like old hags that mistreat people. I don't like it. Yeah, the girl is unpolished and I was ready to laugh at her. But y'all making the girl, I don't like that. I don't like that. And in the live that Dr. Jackie, Dr. Jackie, I thought you had too much respect to be sitting on live with Heavenly and Quad and Phaedra shading this girl. Y'all whack to me. Y'all whack for this. Sweet tea, girl. If you're not able to fight back, then just leave the show. Bow out gracefully. But if you want to be on this show, girl, you got to grow a pair. But anyways, that's all I had to say. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.